Hello, welcome to our uh, sixth uh, Alto restoration session. And I, I couldn't be there this morning, but the team uh, made more progress, uh, took new traces, and on the logic analyzer, Ken will tell us if I can get there what he has found out. So, what's so the problem with more, your trace? We did, we did some more microcode traces today, and we found that the sector task is not running. So the, the disk drive generates a pulse every sector. It goes to the disk interface card. The disk interface card should then wake up the microcode every sector, but it's not happening. So we suspect something is wrong on this disk interface card. We're going to probe it and find out. So this is the, the circuit that you're trying to figure out? In this one so, so on the schematic, the, the sector pulse comes in, it goes through a few simple flip-flops, and then it sends the, the wake sector task message, which should start the microcode running. We see the pulses coming in here. We don't see them coming out here. So it's probably something wrong with these chips. Okay, let's find out. One, and two, and three, this is my humble one, two, three. contribution yeah, for this session. I've made a, 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 a cable that uh, an with a connector in the middle. And I'll replace the original cable with uh, this one. So we can now get the microcode address signals, uh, which we used to have to probe on the extended card on the IC itself. Now we can just get them uh, by sniffing them off the cable thanks to the middle connector. Uh, which uh, liberates uh, the extender card uh, which we need uh, because we want to test the uh, disk card now. Uh, so that's very good except for a very annoying detail is that the extender card doesn't go all the way in and uh, after struggling with it for a while we discover why is because certain cards have a notch in them and the disk card is one of them. The lower board have a little notch on the side, so I need to not try extend a card. There's my notch card. Okay. So it slides in nicely once, yeah. once it was trained? Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Okay, and I should see sector pulses? Yeah. Oh yeah, because they come right from here and then Right, and, and they're on the back plane. We yeah, can see is that, is that? So we seem to have found our problem child. We are looking at the disk sector pulses from here. And uh, we are losing them somewhere here, but the first gate we tried uh, has a problem. I'm looking at the input, which is green, and the output uh, in blue, and there's just no output whatsoever. So, Mr. IC21 doesn't look like it's cooperating with us. So the first gate, if we put a low input, we get a, a nice output. The second gate, we put a low input, we get nothing. And that's the one that didn't work? This is the one that's burnt out. Okay, so it's confirmed dead. Mm -hmm. And then the third gate and all the rest work fine. Okay. So just the gate on pins 3, 4, it's totally burnt out. Okay, let me find a chip like this, 7414. So I'm looking for a replacement for an SN7414, which in HP speak is an 1820-0491. Here's my big stash of HP parts. Hopefully I have it. Alright, so another 
acrobatic repair here. Yeah. Snipped some off. Still there in front of the gate. Next door. All right. Beautiful repair because I didn't have the uh, I didn't have an HP chip that match unfortunately. Here we go. Stole the gate from the other side that wasn't used. See if it works. So now that's better. We have an output. That's our task wake up now. So the task should run. So do, do you see the uh, the sector task running now that we repaired its input signal back there? Well, it, it ran the first time. We don't know. Further, uh, Where is it? There, so it's. So Ken has made a task explorer. So you can see what the uh, Alto is doing from the trace. That's, that's pretty cool. The emulator task runs most of the time. You can see the memory refresh task and the cursor task are running periodically. Um, every so often the disk horizontal and vertical tasks will, will run. Right. I do need to do some more analysis and to see if... The what about the sector? Do we read sectors now that we've um, repaired it? Yeah, it, it runs... It runs every, every sector. Yeah, you can see it here. Yeah. Every 3.33, 3, 3, 3. Um, seconds. Okay, I could see it. Yeah, I'm trying to zoom right. in, but... That little chip changed it a lot, actually. Yeah, yeah that, that chip was keeping the keeping the disk from working entirely. Okay, cool. So indeed, I think we have made good progress. Uh, we did find a bad chip on the uh, disk board, and uh, unfortunately, I didn't have the right chip to replace it. But uh, there was a free gate that we were able to rewire to do a temporary repair. We'll get the right chip eventually. And uh, now the disk card seems to work and things are a lot better. Uh, we have the uh, reliable traces uh, with the sector task and uh, it goes through uh, the boot process and tries to read the boot blocks off the disk, gets it back and then you know, some kind of, of error happens. Uh, but now it's uh, much later in the process so I'm downloading the whole trace now uh, so Ken can analyze it and figure out uh, what it doesn't like uh, in uh, from what he tried on the disk might be as, uh, as simple as it's not a boot disk uh, and to as complicated as um, there's another bad chip in the Alto which is probable so we got one I think we have a few more to go